how to use coinbase wallet app hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with the coinbase wallet application so let's get into it now what i am talking about today is the coinbase wallet we are not talking about the coinbase application now for some people you might be thinking what's the difference between the two it looks like the same to me it's by coinbase however there is a difference when you install the Coinbase app, it means you're installing the Coinbase exchange. This is the crypto exchange or crypto market where you can trade, swap, and do spot trading, future trading, do investment, and all those other crypto exchange features. This is a trading platform. However, as I have discussed previously, whenever you have your money in an exchange, that does not mean that your money is being held by you. To hold your own money or to keep your money or crypto tokens by yourself with your own wallet is going to be via a crypto wallet. So Coinbase not only has a crypto exchange, but they also have a Coinbase wallet and you can use this wallet to hold your cryptocurrency. Now to get started with the Coinbase wallet, all you have to do is search for Coinbase on your App Store or Google Play Store. It is available on both Android and iOS devices. And once you do that, just click on the Coinbase wallet over here. It's called Coinbase wallet, NFTs and crypto. And from here, you're just going to download your Coinbase wallet. I already have this downloaded, so I will just click on open. Once you click on open, this is going to be your home screen. So Coinbase is loading up their wallet. Now you have two options. You can either choose to create a new wallet, or if you previously created a Coinbase wallet and you want to re-access that, you can choose to select, I already have a wallet. We are going to get started with creating our own wallet today. So we are just going to click on create new wallet over here. And once you do that, you're going to enter a username. So now we've entered a username. A username has to be unique. So you're just going to enter that. And now you have this option to allow other wallet users to search for your name or not. So you can choose to change this later or not, but we're just going to deselect this. Now, after that, you have your backup wallet. Now, there are two options for this. This is your secret recovery phrase. This is the phrase that would be used if you want to change devices and log on to your wallet on a new device and if you want to access it on your laptop or any other device. And this is going to be basically the key to all your crypto holdings. So you want to make sure that you write this down somewhere or keep it saved somewhere. You want to write it in a diary maybe. Keep it saved somewhere or just memorize this. Don't share this with anyone. I'm just showing you guys because this is not my actual crypto wallet this is just a sample wallet so make sure that you write this down you can even screenshot it i won't recommend screenshotting it this is a very very bad idea if you screenshot it because a lot of people can have access to your photos or you can even choose to back it up on your icloud this again is something i don't recommend because i just don't want any of the recovery information to be present on the cloud i just don't want to do that i don't want to back it up on iCloud. but you can choose to do so you can click on backup manually and after that they will show you whether or not you saved it right so you will have to verify this so for that i will just use this uh, little info and i will just go on ahead and write this down so i can do the verification now once you have completed your verification so you've entered your keyword recovery verification you can enter a extra layer of security and you can choose to enable face id so if you are on a ios device this is the option for you you can enable face id or you can choose to create a passcode so you can click on create passcode and this will be the simple passcode that would be used to recover your wallet or to log on to your wallet every time you open up the application because you don't want someone to just you know take a look at your phone and they open up your crypto wallet and it's right there it's logged on no you will have to enter this password or this keyword or this phrase this digit combo every time you have to enter your wallet now once you have done that our crypto wallet has now been created from here you can see on the bottom you have a navigation panel uh, first off you have assets and in your asset section you can choose to bridge your networks 
you can buy, swap, send, and receive cryptocurrency. So to buy cryptocurrency, you can click on buy over here. And this will open up the uh, transaction partner that they have. Obviously, you're going to be using Coinbase Pay whenever you are going to be buying with Coinbase Wallet. Next up, you have Swap. So you can swap one cryptocurrency for another. Next up, you have Bridge to bridge to another crypto network. And then you can send and receive crypto simply by the wallet address. So you can send and receive crypto simply by the wallet address. So after that, you have your transaction section. In your transaction sections, you will be able to see all of your crypto changes and not only crypto, but if you take a look at your assets, they have crypto and then they also have NFTs. So you can store your NFTs in your crypto wallet or in your Coinbase wallet as well. And then you even have DeFi. So you can start earning with DeFi protocols and add crypto to your wallet and get started with decentralized finance as well. Next up, you even have a browser section. This section just allows you to browse different decentralized apps and DEXs and DeFi tools as well. Next up, you have your settings. So you will have your active network that you are present on. The default network is Ethereum, but you can change the chain as well. So if you want to go on to the BNB smart chain or the Optimism or the Polygon chain, you can select those as well. Next up, you have your recovery phrase. You have your application connections as well as your active Ethereum address. So you can have multiple different Ethereum addresses as well. Then you have basic settings for your application present in the settings section. And this is how simple and easy it is to use the Coinbase wallet. Now on the top right, you even have your copy address section and then you even have scanning options. So you can scan for a QR code to get started with transferring money from your exchange to your crypto wallet you can just scan the qr code from the exchange so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that i showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video